Peace, back with another installment of Hip Hop History. This is volume 278. In this clip, you will hear Roger Troutman speak about his opinion in regard to hip hop artists sampling music. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. I appreciate the view. I appreciate everything. Thank you for stopping by. And as always, peace. Have you heard of BPMD? You got to feel. Yeah, you're talking about more bounce. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've heard that. It, it, it's got uh, uh, most of the intro of more bounce in it. Right. And I've even been hearing some talk about uh, James Brown was a little upset about some of the rap groups uh, taking his voice and sampling, which I feel I don't know. I mean, I feel like James Brown is great, and anything that he does, he should be recon recognized for. But on the other hand, I feel like keeps his name in the mainstream. I mean, I'm really flattered that, uh, you know, the young guys, young rappers would want to take some of my music and uh, it's a feeling of acceptance to me. And uh, I, I, th I think it's a great thing. What do you think of it? I love it. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Not only because it's me, of course that, but because uh, I just happen to like rap music. You look at me and I'm sure that when these two ladies look at you and I, they see a man. They see a mustache, they see uh, us thrusting forward in a masculine way. And lots of times, uh, certain entertainers may give off a, um, not so much of a manly glow. And I think that uh, young people should see the right kind of gender, you know, from their peers, if you follow what I'm saying. And rappers are like, yo, me, right, yo, showing up straight ahead heard Roger Troutman's perspective on it and I'm going to add my two cents. I feel like when the artist is sampling someone's music from, you know, back in the day for lack of a better terms and um they're showing respect and, and admiration to the song. They're just putting their spin on it. I was talking to um someone the other day about sampling and you know just the actual process that you had to go through it's not easy to sample music and change it up you know like your dooms or your dillas or your mad libs or your pete rocks or your primos or your havocs or your derringers or your alchemists or a rap music you know i mean a rap normally just he creates on his own but or just blaze you know i mean these guys sample music and are so creative with the way that they ninth wonder high tech the list goes on. The list goes on. They they are showing appreciation and admiration for the song. I wish that the um, the artists and also the artists, uh, what do you call it, estate. I wish the artist and the artist estate would be more understanding because. Some of these beats that are coming up nowadays are just something else. So, um, but, you know, one of the foundational principles of hip hop is the sampling, man. Bring it back. But don't try to beat them in the head and and don't feel like, oh, well, because they use this, I, I need a, a cut. They're putting their own spin on it. I mean, I guess you you know you should get a piece of it, but I don't know, man. I feel it's weird. I love hip hop, and I love the sampling, and I just think Roger Troutman's opinion on it was dope. Peace.